probably something for most behind the Q50S wheel, we found perfection elusive. Standard mode is numb, the electronics filtering out all the wheel kickback you'd expect from, say, a pothole. We found Sport Plus with the response set to default to do the best impression of a conventional albeit heavily weighted electrically assisted steering system. Feedback to the driver remains limited, but there is a smooth transition from on center to turning, unlike in Dynamic or Dynamic Plus, which makes the steering darty. And in all modes there is still a disconnect between lateral loading and steering effort, particularly at the limit. Where a normal car's steering goes light, this tiller's resistance holds firm. That said, DOS 2.0 is a major improvement over the original. On the skid pad, the Q50 posted 88 centimos. Its steering effort builds quickly and never diminishes, leaving a driver's butt to detect understeer before the car pushes offline. While the engine delivers, the steering system is still at least a generation away from appeasing real driving enthusiasts. Perhaps that is why Infiniti makes it a standalone option. Plus, the ability to control so many aspects of a steering system gives DOS an advantage in the current foot race to autonomy, an effort that's generating nearly as much hot air as Infiniti's new turbos.